May 4th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Uh, I got a new nuclear event for you. State of New York, Oswego, nine mile power plant. Uh, apparently a nuclear reactor shut itself down and they're not really sure why. And uh, here, let me read the report for you quick. Officials are looking into what caused an Oswego County nuclear power plant to automatically shut down. The owners of the Nine Mile Point Unit 1 say a recently refueled nuclear reactor shut down just before 9 p.m. The reactor has been restarted April 19th after being brought out of service for maintenance. Owners say the plant is in safe and stable condition but would not comment on when the reactor is expected to return to service. Something is amiss in one of the nuclear reactors in New York. And the Mississippi uh, nuclear event is now nowhere to be found on the RSOE. So uh, thankfully a few of us made some videos and uh, we caught that yesterday. Uh, why I'm on the RSOE um, the volcano in Ecuador continues um, still having problems in Colombia with uh, weather and flooding. Tal Volcano in the Philippines, of course. Fresh reports out of Canada today. Uh, Quebec region flooding. And flash floods in the southern pro uh, region in China. Um, Gizhu. Uh, let's see, landslide in Ecuador, capital city, Quinto. Um, they're saying a major landslide in the city. Several people were buried and uh, they're digging people out, just torrential rains and whatnot. Uh, we had an explosion in a mine in Mexico in the state of Koala. I'm sure I mispronounced that. Uh, apparently it's not the safest of mines, they don't follow guidelines, but they had a huge methane explosion. And um, they're asking Chile uh, miners for help in getting these guys out of there with the hopes that they are. And again in uh, Kamachka, two volcanoes uh, erupted again. Um, the, Kiz the Kizmen and the Shivulch volcanoes both erupted. Uh, flash floods in Queensland, Australia, uh, cold waves reporting out of Texas, of course I reported on that yesterday, and the state of California, Southern California, cold wave. Well, they're having colder than uh, normal weather. Over to the Earth Changes, Scott.net, they've got a couple of pages of stuff. New Zealand, tornado hits Auckland shopping mall, one person lost their life. And uh, there are videos out on this tornado. It's pretty crazy. People just driving right into it. Uh, but this is not something New Zealand is used to, like uh, us Americans here in the Midwest. Um, 6.1 magnitude quake hits off the coast of Panama. And uh, no, me no immediate reports of injuries or damage. Um, Mexico, second earthquake in one week recorded in northern Chihuahua. A Chihuahua. A 4.3 magnitude earthquake was recorded just before 5.45 a.m. Monday, 35 miles from the Syria banks in Chihuahua, Mexico, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. Uh, isn't that on the southern tip of the New Madrid fault line? And doesn't that run off? I'm not really exactly sure, but that's on the south end of uh, the New Madrid. Uh, U.S. Texas smaller earthquakes could mean a large one is coming, and this is a fear piece out of the quakes. Uh, El Paso region has had four earthquakes, at least 4.2 in scale in one week. And then they've got a uh, story on um, all the tornadoes, a record 226 tornadoes recorded over 24 hours last week, and that is an all-time record. And again, they have two pages today. Uh, again, tornado hits New Zealand's biggest city. And now they're saying at least two people have been killed and as many others injured when a tornado ripped through Auckland, New Zealand's largest city. 
And then we have another animal mystery, 55 foot long unknown fish species found in China. And they've got a picture of this thing, it's huge. Uh, 55 foot 16.7 meters long fish has been found on in the seashore of Guangdong, China, according to local newspaper. The big fish weighs 10,000 pounds. Um, and they got a 66 year old fisherman living near the area said he has never seen anything like this his whole life. And that the fish was tied with ropes when it was first found. So, um, yeah, strange fish coming out of the deeps right off uh, the coast of China. I wonder why, with all that radiation down in the sea, what's being stirred up and uh, killed off. We have a rare water spout spotted on video near Hawaii. So, tornadoes in Hawaii, they've been having some severe storm. A rare water spout formed off the coast of Hawaii yesterday, May 2nd, and was caught in several pictures and videos. Uh, water spout tornadoes that touch water are not themselves made of water. They are funnel clouds shoot down from the cloud. Uh, tornado on the water, blah, blah, blah. And they're saying uh, the storm was bad enough they knocked out power to 60,000 residents, according to the Hawaiian reporter. Heavy rains smoke soaked Honolulu and, and triggered a flash flood warning. Um... On to another story, U.S. swarm of tiny earthquakes stretches from Belfast to Bucksport, Maine. And Searsport, Maine, as many as 30 tiny earthquakes have been detected over the last few days in the area between Belfast and Bucksport, but geologists say there is no cause for alarm. Uh, microquakes is what we call them. Henry Berry, a bedrock geologist with the Maine Geologist Survey, said on phone interview on Tuesday afternoon, Unless you're right there, you would not notice them. Um, that that is on the northern edge of the New Madrid fault line, and uh, we've been having activity all year up and down there, all the way up into Canada. Strange cosmic ray hotspots stalk southern skies, and um, cosmic rays are cracking into the Earth over the South Pole. Appear to be coming from particular locations rather than being distributed uniformly across the sky. Similar co cosmic ray hotspots have been seen in the northern skies too, yet we know of no source close enough to produce this pattern. Uh huh. But they're studying for it in the southern hemisphere in the Antarctic. Uh, another story, Kentucky, more heavy rains, flooding concerns. Well, of course, they're still blowing levees. In Mississippi, uh, I believe they've done it twice now. There's uh, videos out. Heavy rains drench North Texas. Uh, steady rain for much of the day, driving miserable tasks for the North Texans today. Yeah, it's, it's going kind of slow, trying to be safe, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> and uh, they've got video and pictures, of course. And Hawaii forecast calls for another day of wild weather. And another story, rain may curb gr grain oil seed output globally, Oil World says. A rainfall and cold weather has delayed planting of grains and oil seeds in Canada, Russia, Ukraine, and the United States, threatening an already low global inventories. The Oil World said in a report, on, said in a report today, In the U.S., the world's biggest exporter of corn, soybeans, and wheat, Heavy rains through the Midwest and Plain states have made fields too wet for planting, the researcher said. Rain in Canada has delayed seeding of spring wheat and canola, and cold, wet weather has kept farmers in Russia and Ukraine from seeding spring grains, according to Hamburg-based oil seeds analysis of the oil world. And again, here's some more crop loss, crop damage. Um, and definitely we are going to pay for, for those losses out of our pockets. Winter in May, it is snowing in Poland. About 10,000 people in the lower Celsius region are left without electricity due to heavy snowfall. Wet heavy snow broke branches in many places, damaging power lines of high and medium voltage. And uh, they've got a picture, doesn't look like a lot of snow for us, but I'm sure in this time of year in Poland, that's not going to be fun. 
Uh, the only thing Extinction Protocol has anything different than what I've already covered is Wild Boars Invade City of Berlin, Germany. Uh, Berlin. People in Berlin are growing used to the sight of wild boar in the streets, and increasing numbers of them come into the city to look for food. Anyone caught feeding them is fined. Special fences have been built to keep them out of the city, also to employ wild boar hunter to try to control them. Berlin is being plagued by large numbers of wild boar roaming the street, causing chaos, wandering around the roads, rummaging through garbage and digging up grass, and boars have become something of a nuisance. To combat the problem, the officials are putting up fences and trying to keep them from entering built-up areas. And I remember reporting uh, not too very long ago about radioactive boars in Germany. And they were telling the people not to eat the meat because these boars were eating mushrooms um, that were contaminated from radiation from the Chernobyl incident. Uh, because that the mushrooms collected high concentrations of it and people were eating this meat. And uh, their cancer risks, they're still in dealing with this, you know, what, almost 30, 25 years later. <sighs> so, uh, wild boars in Germany. You hear that? And then... The last story I have today would be off of uh, the Watchers and uh, Sri Lankan storms bring floods, mudslides, lightning, death. Uh, storms sparking flooding, mudslides, lightning strikes have taken at least seven lives in Sri Lanka according to government authorities. And uh, of course they're just going through the monsoon, just craziness. Yeah, it's been going on since, what, November, February. Uh, Sri Lanka's just having a hell of a time. More flooding and everything else. So, until I talk to you again, uh, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below, of course. And uh, enjoy it while you can. And uh, <laughs> what do you do? Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.